Hey everyone, today we're going to be opening up this old can of shortening. It even has the original key. This is three pounds, and it was made between 1958 and 1964. There's no exact date. Let's get a look at this. For fine baking and frying. Pure shortening. Made from the meat fats and vegetable fats. Here's a bunch of ingredients, or these are the recipes that you can make. I don't know. I've never opened up old grease. It might look the same. It might be rancid and stink. I have no idea what to expect from this. I've never opened up anything even close to this. The container's in pretty good shape. It's just a bunch of surface rust. Nothing has ever penetrated the can. And that must have been from when they sold it. It was probably 85 cents. There's a little bit of writing here that I didn't notice until now. I don't think it's a date though. Let's go ahead and get that key off. There we go. It's a little bit rusty. But this that thing here has to fit into the hole. But the hole's filled with rust. Is that gonna work? There we go. Oh, yep, it went through. So now we can just start twisting all the way around the can and open this thing up. Here we go. Oh, you heard that? It just released pressure. There was a small hiss. It might have been a vacuum, actually. I did not expect that to hiss. Oh, look at look at my finger. Uh, it's greasy all the way around the end of it. It looks normal, doesn't it? What's that going to smell like? I honestly don't know what shortening smells like. I usually just use oil. But I don't think this is normal. It smells like stink bug juice. Yeah. <clears throat> I wonder if it'll still melt down. We gotta try that out. But what I have here is a new box of cotton swabs. I'm taking some samples from this, because I want to see if there's bacteria growing in this. See what I'm doing? Taking a little bit. I'm going to put it into this Petri dish I made. I gently rub some of that around in there. This is going to sit in a dark place for one week. And if there's any bacteria in this, we'll have growth in here. Petri dishes encourage bacteria to grow. I have another dish here, and the reason I have two dishes, because this one I want to stick way into it. Rub some of that around in there. And we'll check back with that in a week. I'm going to cover that up, put it in a dark place. Now we're going to start digging into this. Okay. It says it's for frying. Let's do some frying with almost 60 year old shortening. Ah, man, that stuff is strong. I can't, I can't use that plastic spoon. Yeah. 
you need a metal spoon to get this out. Wow, that takes a lot of strength to get this out of here. This stuff is strong. When I clean this thing out, I gotta remove the label or I'm gonna wreck it. Because this is gonna need a lot of intense scrubbing to get this grease out of here. I'm trying not to get too much on my hands. Like, it looks perfect, doesn't it? I don't know if it's supposed to smell like that. It might be rancid. I don't know. Wow, that stuff is sticking to my spoon. Man, this is strong. There's a lot of it in there. We got three pounds of it. Get this out of the pan. Ah, I just flung and hit me in the shirt. Okay, we don't need it all to do some frying. I'll scoop that out of there later. I have finally got this thing up to temp, and the only thing I really have in the house to fry are some potatoes. So I cut them up into fries, and we're going to go ahead and throw some of them in. The stuff so far is normal. It smells okay now that it's actually heated up. The french fries have been in there for about 10 minutes and I think it's about time I can start taking them out. They're starting to turn golden brown. The oil doesn't smell bad anymore. There we go, we got a fry. I gotta cool that down and I can try it out. See if it tastes any different than any other fry. Really hot. I don't think it's cooked enough. I gotta do this more, but it tastes fine. Okay, so they look pretty good. <clears throat> the piece I tried is pretty good. I can't taste anything off. It tastes perfect. That big thing of grease, I'm smelling it now. It smells fine. As soon as it heated up, that weird musty odor went away. French fries taste perfect. Thanks for watching. Doing Petri dishes is something very new to me. By looking at these, I can't tell if those marks were made by me scraping that along or there's just a small amount of bacteria growing just along where I put it. I can't tell. 
I honestly can't tell if anything grew. After 10 days, this is what the shortening has become. The two samples I took. This one here is from the surface. A few colonies of mold have started growing. Over here is a sample from the middle. Only one big colony has started here. Looks like there's a little bit over in this area.